Good morning to you and to the great state of Texas. Praise God. Praying for you guys. You, your state is in the bat, on the front lines of the cultural, devilish, demonic battle of wokeism. Your state congress in Texas right now is trying to pass a law that prohibits children from being allowed to go to a drag show, drag queen show. Apparently, that's what's been trying to happen in the state of Texas, which was once an ultra-conservative state, but apparently uh, some things are happening there. But your senators and Congress are stepping up to the plate, and uh, so we got to be active. I know a lot of Christians just want to kind of pray. Well, praying is good. That's Second Timothy, uh, 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 4. First of all, pray for those in authority. Yes, but that's not where it ends. That's not where it ends. Uh, if you read through the book of Proverbs, it talks about the righteous man must speak up, must use his voice, must speak out. Uh, Jesus said this, that we are the salt of the earth. We're the salt of the world. And if we lose our saltiness, then how in the world are we, we'll be trodden underfoot. We must, uh, we must become active in our citizenry. One of the founding principles of American freedom of the of the constitutional freedom is that the citizenry is involved that they're engaged back in the earlier days when the towns were smaller if they wanted to pass a law the whole the whole town would show up to voice their opinion we still have to show up so uh anyway uh praying for the state of texas and uh whatnot and, and uh, that they'll make the right decision praise god good morning everyone we have to become activated now I want you to get a piece of paper and pencil or pen, and I want you to write this down. I want you to write this website down. It's Godly Christian website that will equip you to come against the Marxist, communist, woke, critical theory agenda, critical education theory, critical gender theory, critical sex theory, critical race theory, critical whatever theory is just Marxism, communism, socialism, the destruction of freedom, which means it's an attempt to silence the gospel and we lose the freedoms that we've been given. This critical whatever theory you put in there is not about sex. It's not about man versus woman. It's not about hetero versus homosexual. It's not about black versus white. It's not about rich versus poor. It's about a taking over of the power structure of Christianity, of the structure of morality, of the Mosaic law that's now was supposed to guide our legal system. It is the destruction of anything decent and honorable and godly in the name of critical theory, whatever you want to put in the middle there. And our kids are being doused and indoctrinated in it, critical theory. So as we're speaking the Word of God, as we're at Jumpstart Nation speaking the Word of God, We've also got to be active and con contact our Congress and Senator. Here is the, here's the web address that you need to go. They'll help to equip you as Christians. Powerful. It's heritageaction.com. Heritageaction.com. And there's all kinds of help there to help us stem the tide of perversion and of the taking over of our Christian roots our Western culture that's grounded in the Judeo-Christian ethic. And it's right now the globalist, wealthy globalists uh, are trying to overthrow us. And we cannot just be sheep uh, waiting to be slaughtered. We've got to speak up while we can. And so we're speaking Jumpstart Nation. God birthed this movement, Jumpstart Nation, in 2020. And uh, our, our bread and butter, our meat and potatoes, is speak the word every day, 9 o'clock, unified around the word of God. But we've also got to add actions. We've got to put feet on our tongue. We've got to put actions on our tongue. So it's heritage, um, heritageaction.com, okay? And if you'll go to that website, they'll begin to equip you as an American Christian citizen on how to come against the satanic, demonic perversion of our children and of the overthrow uh, of morality and Christianity in America. Praise God. All right, now we're going to get to the high business of speaking the word of God and declaring it out of our mouth. And the Spirit of the Lord said to me, he says, Byron, you started down a road a couple of weeks ago on how to find the will of God, and you've done some other things since. He said, I want you, felt like in my heart, he wanted us to get back to 
speaking the word of God regarding the will of God. All right, how do you know you're in the will of God? We're going to have to be at the right place at the right time doing the right thing for the right reasons, all right? And we talked about this. Number one, Psalm 37, 4 says that he will give you, as you delight yourself in the Lord, he'll give you the desires of your heart. He'll put, he'll put his desires in you. You know you're doing what God called you to do when it hits that sweet spot. Preaching, pastoring, uh, doing jumpstart, teaching, uh, using my mouth to influence and communicate is what I'm called to do. It's what God made me to do. I'm in my sweet spot. But he's expanding that now into not just pastoring, but into Jumpstart Nation, Byron Mills Ministries. We just heard a prophetic word from Prophet Marcus Wick that uh, the Lord said you are to start launching more conferences. More, don't just go to conferences, but actually lead conferences. I don't have a clue on how to do that. So I'm declaring right now I have the anointing and the wisdom of God to walk out his plan concerning that. So uh, the Lord is really, sh he's, he's, he's shaking uh, my and Rhea's cage uh, out of the uh, comfort of Maysville, a wonderful, wonderful city, my wonderful church, Victory Christian Center. Yep, praise God, the best and the greatest local church on the planet. And uh, But he's, he said, uh, the prophet said, and we knew this, but he prophesied Sunday night, you're not leaving your church, but you are going and coming, going out and coming in, and you have ample leadership to handle the church while you're gone. And amen, we knew that, but now it's, it's been confirmed by a confirmed prophet. So we're coming, coming to the cities near you. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Uh, now, you need to declare that God is expanding your borders. Say this out loud. God is helping me to expand my borders and to lengthen my stakes. Okay, Lord, I got it. Now we're on track. Isaiah 55, about knowing the will of God, number one, the desire. He puts a desire in you to do a thing. You just want to, you got this need to do it. You want to do it. Number two, be faithful in another man's vineyard. And when you are, you'll get your own. Luke 16, 12, be faithful in another man's business, another man's ministry. Be faithful helping another man, another woman, and then eventually you'll have your own business, your own vineyard, your own ministry. And God, in the name of Korabasiti, God is raising up entrepreneurs that he will use to pour wealth into the kingdom. Amen. What can you do? Can you bake cookies? Okay. Do you have a recipe? Uh, are you good at lawn care? Uh, are you good at carpentry? Are you good at some kind of craft? It may seem very insignificant to you, but when you put it in the hands of God and you begin to apply your hand to it and you take steps of faith, God will let you and help you and assist you and empower you and bless you to start a business that he will then begin to bless, like with the blessing of Abraham, and pour wealth into it. Don't think that your interest, your talent, your hobby, your gift, your, your little thing you like to do, God can turn that into a kingdom production, a kingdom wealth producer. Amen. This is the season for that. Uh, number three, Paul says, I am what I am by the grace of God. Amen. I am what I am by the grace of God. I don't deserve to be it, but man, that's what I am. And so uh, by I am. So say this out loud. I may not be qualified in the natural, but I am what I am by the grace of God. This is life changing. Number four, just like Joseph in Genesis 39, grace and mercy and favor are promoting you from the lowest place to the highest place of your calling. Joseph was a slave, and God said, this is a successful man, a man standing naked on a slave block. God said, this is a successful man for two reasons. The Lord was with him, said the Lord was with him, and number two, the blessing of Abraham was upon him. Well, the Lord's not only with you, he's in you, and Galatians 3, 13 and 14 says, Christ became a curse for you so that the blessing of Abraham that prospered Abraham, prospered Isaac, prospered Jacob, and prospered Joseph, that blessing, that supernatural blessing is now on you. Say this out loud, the Lord is with me, 
and the Lord is in me. And the blessing of Abraham is upon me. Therefore, what I put my hand to is prospering in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say it out loud. The blessing of Abraham is on me. Man, that's awesome. Praise God. Then number six. Number six to knowing, finding, and living in God's highest will for your specific life Principle number six from the word is Psalm 75, six and seven. Psalm 75, six and seven. The Lord keeps bringing this up into my spirit. And so I, we're, we're supposed to jump start it. Where does promotion come from? The promotion of your ministry, the promotion of your career, the your promotion of whatever it is that's in your heart to do. Whatever that calling, whatever that destiny, whatever that path is, what is the key to you living in the highest, the pr being promoted? God wants to promote you, all right? He wants to exalt you as you remain humble. He wants to lift you up and promote you. I hear the verse coming by the Spirit of God. He, the, God, he is the glory and the lifter of my head. He is the glory and the lifter of my head. All right, what's that mean? He's the glory and the lifter, promoter of my head, of my authority, of my position, of my ministry. Say it out loud. God is the glory and the lifter of my head. I'm being supernaturally elevated, supernaturally promoted, supernaturally lifted. Glory to God. Man, did you say it? If you didn't say it, you didn't activate it. You heard me activate it for me, but don't be left behind. Uh, I'm going to give you a, a mulligan. I'm going to give you a chance. Some of you were being passive. Get that mouth moving. Your mouth is a deadly weapon against mediocrity. Your mouth is a deadly weapon uh, against Satan and demons that are defeated. Your mouth is a sword. Say it out loud. God is the glory, hallelujah, and the lifter of my head. He is promoting my authority. Amen. Now, Psalm 75, 6 and 7, for exaltation. Uh, we, use, we don't say exaltation. We say promotion. When you get a raise or you get promoted, you don't come home and say, well, I was exalted today. You know, you say, hey, I got promoted today. But the Bible term is exaltation. See, God wants to exalt you, promote you. All right? <laughs> promotion in the form of, of job promotions raises the favor of God. When you exalt grace, grace exalts you. When you exalt the finished work of the cross, the finished work of the cross exalts you. When you exalt God, God exalts you. Praise God. When you exalt the grace of God, it will exalt and promote you. And let me put it the modern way. When you promote God, when you promote grace. That's why you need to share this. That's promoting. That you can be a minister of the gospel just by sharing the jump start. When you promote God in your life, when you promote the word of God, when you promote the things of God, when you, when you get the word out and when you promote or exalt God, God will promote and exalt you. Man, that's awesome. Praise God. Now, exaltation, promotion, Psalm 75, 6, neither comes from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one, and he exalts another. Oh, my goodness. Now, notice, promotion, exalt, exaltation, promotion doesn't come from the east, the west, or the south. The one direction that he didn't mention is north, because north is symbolically and parabolically. It's the parable, the symbol of heaven. Meaning, promotion doesn't come horizontally from men. It doesn't come from Exxon or Walmart or, or, or whoever you're working with or for. It doesn't come from, the, from human sources. It comes from the north. It comes from heaven. So you don't have to try to manipulate the folks in the east, the west, or the south. You don't have to try to manipulate and, and dog eat dog and stepping on people to get to a higher place, putting down others to be exalted, which the world does it all the time. You don't have to put pressure on the east, the west, or the south because your permission, promotion and exaltation in the name of Jesus, I'm prophesying, is coming from 
heaven. It's coming from the north. It's coming from a higher source. Say this, promotion is not coming from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. The promotion of my life, my ministry, and my career is coming from the north, from my heavenly Father. That is awesome. Say it again. Promotion is coming. Amen. Now, in the Word of God, and we don't have time to get into it today, maybe a little bit, there are ways to to accelerate that. Now, the next verse says, he said, it doesn't come from the east, west, or south, but God is the judge. He judges. He puts down one and exalts another. People that are not walking in the grace of God, people that are anti-God, anti-morality, they will be put down. The government leaders that are bent, hellish bent, on destroying Christianity, destroying the Bible, destroying truth, destroying our children, and perverting our kids, God's putting them down. Listen, God's putting them down, and he's exalting godly men and godly women. All right? God is the judge. Here's the good news. God judged your unworthiness to be promoted 2,000 years ago. God judged you as a sinner 2,000 years ago when he judged Jesus. Jesus became sin with your sin. God judged you unworthy 2,000 years ago so that when Jesus finally paid the price, God judged you and me in Christ as worthy of promotion, worthy of exaltation. Glory to God. Say it out loud. God judged me unworthy at the cross, and God judged me worthy at the resurrection. Woo! God is the judge. He puts down one. Listen, he put down Jesus. Jesus had to lower himself. He had to humble himself even to the death of the cross. The cruelest, most dishonorable thing that could happen to a human being was to not just be given the death sentence, but to be given cross as the means of death. That is the lowest that you could go in the Roman day. That's the lowest. That's for the lowest of the lowest of the criminal. So God put down one, Jesus so that he could exalt another you. Ha, wow, woo, praise God. Say this out loud. God put down one, Jesus Christ on the cross, lowered him, even putting my guilt and shame on him, putting my disqualifications on him, And at the resurrection, he elevated me. Man, now what's happening is because you've been elevated in Christ 2,000 years ago, therefore you're seeing elevation, exaltation, and promotion in your specific calling, in your specific life, in your specific career, in your specific ministry, begin to look for the exaltation. Begin to look for the promotion. Just keep on giving the credit to the grace of God, not to your brilliant education, not to your brilliant mind, not to your your great look, your great dress code, your car, not to all your accomplishments. Exaltation is coming undeserved, unearned, but promotion is coming right now to you, Jumpstart Nation, in Jesus' name. Praise God. For in the hand, verse 8 says, For in the hand of the Lord is a cup, and the wine is red, it is fully mixed, and he pours it out. Surely its dregs shall all the wicked of the earth uh, drink, drain, and drink down. He said he has a cup of wine that if they don't accept this demotion of Jesus and the promotion of those in Christ, that the work of the cross, the work of the cross, if they reject it, the Lord says he has a cup of wine. It's red. It's fully mixed. He's going to pour it out. Its dregs shall all the wicked of the earth 
drain and drink down. Man, there are people that don't want anything to do with God right now. Come on, it's the truth. This is the other side of it. People, grace preachers are afraid to preach it. But, you know, good news is not good unless there's bad news. <laughs> and the bad news is they're going to drink the dregs down. They're going to gulp down this ungodly woke agenda, this ungodly perversion. They're drinking it down. Companies, corporations, Disney, Pizza Hut is now contributing money to pervert our kids. They're drinking it down. But what does verse 9 say? But I will declare forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. He says, even though the wicked are gulping down this red wine, all right, God says, the psalmist says, but I will declare forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. I will declare what? No, it's not. He, I will continue to speak. I will continue to confess. I will continue to jumpstart. So let me read it this way. But I will jumpstart forever. I will speak the word forever. I will declare the word forever. I will talk the word forever. And I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. Say this out loud. Regardless of the evil that wicked men are drinking down, I will declare forever. What are we supposed to do in the light of all this wickedness and evil and wokeness and, and, and evil stuff? We will declare. He said, I'm going to keep speaking. He didn't say I'll pray. didn't say I'll petition. He said, I'm going to declare forever and I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. Verse 10, we're talking about how to find the will of God. You've got a number one, understand promotion doesn't come from the east, west, or south. It comes from the north. Jesus was demoted so that we would be promoted in life. Glory, you've got the anointing of promotion on you. You've got the anointing of ex exaltation on you. God is promoting your finances. God is promoting your income. God is promoting your position. He's putting you in places of, of um, influence. God is putting you in places of influence. Don't doubt it. Don't question it. Don't reject it. Accept it. Let God put you in that place. Your mind's going to say, I can't do, I don't know how to do this. How, why, do, why am I being offered this? Why am I being, I don't know. You're right. You don't know what to do, but listen to what we said. 1 Corinthians 15, 9, I don't deserve to be in this position, Paul said. Apostle, I don't deserve to be promoted to this place, but by the grace of God, ah, I am what I am. And the grace of God that's with me is laboring more abundantly than they all. When God begins to promote you in the places that even intimidate you, it's beyond, beyond what you ask or think, don't reject it because of fear of failure. You need to say, by the grace of God, I am what I am. And I've got the grace of God to figure this position out. And I'm going to do it better than anybody, my predecessors, because Jesus put me here. Grace put me here. I've been promoted here. The last verse Verse 10 of Psalm 75, all the horns of the wicked will also be cut off. Horns means power and authority, governmental power, authority, responsibility. They're going to be cut off from their positions. They're going to be demoted. He said, all the horns of the wicked I will also cut off. And he says, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Ooh, all the horns of the wicked will also be cut off, but the horns of the righteous. Horns represents your authority, your position, your place in life, your place in the company, your place in ministry. All right? Say this out loud. And listen, you're not righteous because you behave righteously. You're righteous because of, of what Jesus accomplished. You're righteous by simple faith in the work of Jesus. Say this out loud. I am the righteousness of God. The horns of the wicked are being cut off. But my horn, the horn of the righteous, is being promoted. I'm being exalted, not because of my goodness, not because of my talent, but because I am the righteousness of God in Jesus. Praise God. Elaine, your influence is increasing. God is exalting your ministry. God is exalting what you're doing. All of you that are listening, God is exalting what you are doing. Glory be to God. This is Holy Spirit Fire. This is Psalm 75. Say it out loud. Promotion is not coming from man. 
but promotion is mine right now. I'm being promoted right now, and it is coming from God. It's coming from the north. Say this out loud and we're done. God is opening doors that no man can shut, and he is closing doors, doors of defeat, doors of oppression that no man can open. And that's good stuff. When God opens doors, no man can shut it. No president of any company, no government, no authority, nobody can shut it. God is opening doors that no man can shut for you to be promoted and exalted spiritually and financially. Man, that's awesome. 